you remember back in 2016 when the killer clown craze was kind of going on and it was going into 2017 and it was still happening and every other content creator at the time especially a lot of family channels were making videos about getting harassed and like haunted or whatever by clowns and stuff like that i remember finding this one channel called all for two kids when i was younger and just finding the channel to be very weird because it was obviously very fake and scripted and it just was very odd because it was this grown ass adult who was a parent featuring their young children in the video constantly getting chased around by this weird clown in the woods and i just didn't really understand why this was getting so much attention and views at the time and i didn't see anyone actually talking about the actual videos at the time and so i finally found danny gonzalez who seemingly at the time was the only person actually talking about the youtube channel and how bad the videos were and how obviously fake that they were danny gonzalez was a former viner back in the day and that's where i recognized him from and although i've seen a couple of his videos over the years i'm not really a fan of the content not because i don't like it but because i just am not really subscribed and i don't really watch his videos all that often but recently he got into some controversy then i fucking hesitate to really call it that to be honest because of how stupid it is where he did a video called recreating insane dad talks because i think recently he just became a dad in the video on his table as he's trying to recreate these dad tiktoks there's a cup of coffee from starbucks and the comments proceeded to go absolutely insane when i was looking for comments in danny's recent video i actually couldn't find any comments that had to do in relation to the starbucks cup so some of the comments you'll be seeing on the screen are actually from Pegasus video that he made on it a while ago and some of the comments read Starbucks cup kind of disappointed really disappointed to see a Starbucks cup okay the Starbucks cup on the table is definitely a choice not a good one. And then this last one. The Starbucks cup was really a shock. I'm happy to see that Danny has apologized and even joining the Palestine charity that other creators have done. No one is perfect in a boycott. We can definitely only try our best. I'm not a saint. I wouldn't claim to be one. I'm just glad Danny did the right thing. No, 9-11 was shocking. Whatever this was that Danny did in his video, that's not a shock. That's just something that you're, for some reason, upset about that doesn't make any actual logical sense if you think about it for more than two fucking seconds. I saw a couple of videos talking about the situation a couple of days ago, but I didn't really want to go too deep into it, but just because I didn't have really anything else to do today, I decided to go ahead and just see what was up because I just got curious and i i just didn't really get what people were so upset about and yeah it just had to do with the fact that one of starbucks cup of coffees were just on the table as danny gonzalez was making a video and since then he has made an apology for him ha featuring this cup of coffee in his video and just gonna be honest i don't really think that he really needed to apologize for this in my opinion all danny did was drink an over expensive cup of coffee from Starbucks. That's all it is. That's all it was supposed to be interpreted as. It's entirely possible that he didn't even know about the current standing that Starbucks has with Israel and Palestine. It's entirely possible that he didn't even know that this boycott was even happening in the first place. I certainly didn't. This is actually the first that I was actually hearing of it when I actually started watching videos talking about this Danny Gonzalez situation. It's entirely possible that he was just completely ignorant about some of the stuff that was happening around Starbucks and all he really needed was just a cup of coffee to wake him up a little bit so that he can get started to working on that video that he was making that day. That's all it was supposed to be, but then people in the comments just ended up turning it into something else that it wasn't supposed to be. And then you look at the comments and they're like saying this and that about him buying this coffee from Starbucks, but it just comes off as virtue signaling, especially considering the fact that you know these people probably have some sort of smartphone device, maybe a possibly an iPhone device, when we already know that iPhones are built and made in China and that children work in those sweatshops all the fucking time. So it really just comes off as virtue signaling it just really seems like they're trying to boycott something but if you know anything about the internet is that all they really do as far as boycotting is that they stop buying their products but that doesn't really do anything considering the fact that last year alone Starbucks was able to gross over 36 billion dollars so obviously the boycott isn't working and it's probably not going to work at all and they're probably still going to make just as much money this year as they did last year and another example of a boycott not working in its favor was i think it was last year when hogwarts legacy came out 
and people were saying that if you were buying this game, you were transphobic, and that the person who owns or made Harry Potter, they're transphobic because of some stupid shit that J.K. Rowling said a while ago about trans people, that this game's gonna, you know, flop, and this and that, and yada yada, and that game ended up selling extremely well. I think uh, by, like, May 5th, I think it was, of last year in 2023, it made like a billion dollars or like 850 million, I think it was. I forget where exactly I saw that number from, but it, it made back a lot of its money and it was extremely successful and was one of the highest played games on the Steam charts when it first initially came out in that month. Hogwarts Legacy, even though there were people boycotting the game, it didn't really matter because people wanted to play the game and enjoy it for what it was worth. And it did really well. The same thing is basically happening with Starbucks because people either don't care about what's going on in Israel and Palestine right now, or they just straight up don't even know about the boycott right now, and they just are going to the Starbucks to get a cup of coffee. And that's as simple as it was. That's what it seemed like Danny Gonzalez was doing when he went and got that cup of coffee from Starbucks. But the comments just made it out to be such a bigger deal than it actually was. And a lot of people were really upset. He went ahead and apologized for it. And I really didn't think he really needed to because... It didn't really seem like he was trying to pick a side when he went to go get this cup of coffee. All it seemed like is that he just needed a little bit of energy and perk up a little bit for whenever he was making this video about dad TikToks and he went and got coffee that's way too expensive and that's all it really is. A bunch of people were starting making videos about it. My opinion on this is that I don't think Danny Gonzalez is a bad guy. I think Danny is a very entertaining creator. I've seen a couple of his videos. Like I said before, early in the video at the beginning, I saw his video on all four two kits and I really enjoyed that he made that video because I feel like at the time it really needed to be talked about because of how strange and suspicious those videos were at the time and the fact that they were getting so much attention, views, and like little kids were like featured in it and they were like, doing some weird stuff in it it was very odd yeah danny really didn't need to apologize for this but he went in and did it anyways this happened a few days ago so i'm a little late on the topic as per usual to be honest on this channel but yeah this was just such a weird thing because i didn't expect someone to get canceled for drinking starbucks of all things to get canceled for it's you're getting canceled for drinking starbucks i i just don't get it anyways uh, that's really all I have to say. This was, this was such a weird thing to happen. This was such a weird cancellation attempt. I don't think Danny tried to lean towards one way in this conflict between Israel and Palestine. People just mentioned politics in a video that had nothing to do with politics. And that's insanely frustrating. Anyways, that's pretty much it for me. I don't really have much else to say. Like I said, I think Danny's a good guy. I don't think he meant anything by drinking starbucks i don't think he meant anything wrong when he made the video and had the starbucks cup within the video i think people just blew it up out of proportions way more than it needed to and yeah it was really dumb anyways that's pretty much it if you liked the video be sure to leave a like and if you want to see more please be sure to subscribe please turn on bell notifications so you don't miss another video i will see you guys in the next one i'm out peace Let the